So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And today guys, I want to showcase to you an incredible weapon. One I've built a, well, a short little, well, to be honest, it's only took me about an hour to just to throw something together. But it's a build based around a great weapon which does amazing damage. Now this is a weapon that's been known about for some while, people have used it for some while. But I haven't really seen anyone cover it since the latest patch. Well, the patch before that actually, because natural weapons change it's way more beneficial to the player now it's way more potent way more dangerous much much better and that's why i bring you today guys another build based on this thing how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe okay guys so the weapon is the blasphemous blade mine's a plus nine could get it even better with a plus 10 if you want to go that far um, it scales with strength, uh, dexterity and faith, it requires 22 strength, 15 dexterity and 21 faith to actually use this thing and you get it guys from defeating Rykar at Volcano Manor which I'm pretty certain you've probably done or at least know about the main boss of this place uh, once you defeat him you get his uh, remembrance to take it to two fingers at the round table and you can pick this thing and it is well an absolute beast What's actually better about it now guys is, and what makes it much much better than what it was post patch, I think this was a 1.03 patch, now we know it used to heal you on defeating an enemy, yep it used to heal you on defeating an enemy, but guys it's got way better, because now it heals you upon you hitting an enemy, yes don't believe me I'm going to take it to, I've actually just destroyed I think in this area, yeah, just testing it a little further. So let's go back to a spot where um, enemies ain't going to hit me too hard. <laughs> you know what I mean, people? You know what I mean, people? But yeah, either way, if you want a fire build, this is actually pretty good. And I'll show you what I'm using in a quick second. And obviously, as always, guys, I'll put guides in the video description to everything I've got on here in regards to where you get said items from. Just to make it a lot easier on yourself if you're thinking about using this build or getting the inspiration from the build or whatever yeah guys we're actually going to skip this part because uh, i can't demonstrate to you how much health we get back up on hitting an enemy because it just kills them with a shot anyway so yeah i'm going to quickly skip to another spot where enemies are a bit tankier let's go uh, up here so yeah i'll catch you back in a quick second people okay guys so i'm at a place down where enemies shouldn't be one hit especially without all the buffs that can apply to this um okay so i'll let this guy actually do some damage to me. Oh, gone. A bit more, a bit more. Okay, so that's probably actually one more. Gone. Don't, don't pick me up. Don't pick me up. Don't pick me up. No, just hit me one more time, please. Come on. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. And you'll see now, guys, that your amount of damage, uh, health you get back upon a hit. See that? Absolutely brutal. So if you're just spamming this away like this, guys, against the boss, against ads, it don't matter. You're getting your health back so fast, so fast. It's unbelievable, it really is. So yes, it now grants you that health back without actually having to kill. So it makes it way more efficient in battle. It really does. So what I'm actually using with this, guys, is I'm on using the giant seal, which uh, boosts uh, giant's flame incantations. I'm obviously using plenty of flame incantations too, just because it's a fire build. I'll show you them in a quick second, but there's one specific one I'm using there which buffs my uh, damage with this thing. How many is this imp head here which raises faith slightly? So yes, as we know guys, faith is important to fire. Uh, the rest you can just look how you want. If you can hold, um, if your equip low is decent enough, you could probably have tank armor here, but hey, use what you can. In regards to talismans, we've got the Shard of Alexander, boost, uh, greatly boost your attack power skills, nice. The Mercury Sorcerer increases many of those beautiful stats needed for this build. We have the two things heirloom, increase, uh, well, raises faith, another great one. And then we have the Fire Scorpion Charm. Raises fire attack but lowers damage negation. Now, you can probably switch out one of these. Um, or let's say, where are you, where are you, where are you? I know you're up here somewhere. When you get one, it all, oh, there we go, there we go. The carrion filigree crest just lowers FP consumed by skills. The thing is, as well, this is kind of heavy on the um, FP. It's not too bad, I, I guess, but it is slightly heavy. Now, so you could probably switch that to that, it's up to you. 
Within my beautiful feisty um, flask, I'm using the flame shrouding crack tier, which boosts fire attacks. And I'm also using the cerulean hidden tier, eliminates all FP consumption. I believe this is for about 10 seconds. And I use that just because of the actual the heaviness of the special attack, which I actually didn't really showcase it on that. Uh, so yeah, it uses uh, 30 FP per usage. So yeah, within that taker's flames, which is a great weapon art, as you've seen. So obviously it scales with faith. If you want more faith, the better. Strength, uh, dexterity as well. You know how it goes, guys. You don't need me to explain this to you. Um, incantations I'm using here, we have. Let's go down. We're using, well, we were, oh, we were. This is the main one I'm using here. They raises the physical and fire affinity attack power. So this is absolutely great for this. So yep, yeah, just pop this, pop my flask, getting maximum damage for, I'm not sure exactly how long it lasts, but it's a good, it's a good minute or so. I think this may last three minutes or the flask may last three minutes and this may last a minute. I'm not sure, but to be honest, there's no real boss I have left to kill in the game. We can test this on to see who actually puts up a challenge longer, long enough before these wear off. So yeah, I'm also using Flame uh, Sling. I'm also using Fire's Deadly Sin and I'm also using this one, which is amazing. Flame of the Fell God. It's great, but there's many other fire things you can use, guys. So I ain't even got hey you just play around i don't know what i don't know what this one's supposed to do i don't know what this one's supposed to do but yeah um this one as well it increases that fire and uh, damage negation so yeah guys there's another one here i mean you know how it goes guys you know how it goes and that's it that's basically what i do so i'm going up to an enemy i'm literally just well i will put my um my grant strength i'll drink my physic and then i'll just two handy main weapon and i'll just go up to enemies lock onto them and just literally boom look at the damage that does now it's utterly brutal guys it really is hey you, you can't not supposed to hit you're not supposed to hit me when i'm trying to demonstrate a video get out of here get out of here you almost killed me <laughs> yeah, they hit a lot harder up here so it's why i actually test uh builds i test them on a lot of enemies because i'm used to that with other weapons and stuff i then come up to the normally the giants by the Deck test medallion and lift and then I will probably come here because these guys hit hard as well and sometimes the giants in the uh, the mountain tops of the giants as well because they are pretty tanky but yeah guys it's a great build um, if you can improve upon it I'm pretty sure you can um, be my guest if you can help me improve upon it let me know how down below and there we have it guys like I said it's mainly based on this weapon here. You could probably incorporate this into your build you already have. But it's definitely a great, great weapon. It really is. But there we have it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people. I will see you on that next one.